Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Legendary Weapon Guide here on Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. So today I've got another weapon to review for you guys. It's a rocket launcher to be more precise and uh, as you can just see right there I was holding it in my hand. Today we are going to be looking at the legendary thingy rocket launcher which is a legendary rocket launcher manufactured by the scabs so as always where do you get it from well the answer to that is it's actually in the very first map you uh, you come to once you exit um through the launch pod um in the very f opening of the game and that is serenity's waste uh, it's actually just out here, a secret little area on top of this lava cave. So you can run in here at any time, but I do recommend you wait till the very end of the game, till you're high enough level to take this guy on, because he is the end boss after the end boss, basically. Um, so in your first playthrough, he will be the highest enemy you come against. Again in the second playthrough. In the third playthrough, he will uh, scale to your size, so you can hit him up whenever you want. But this is Iwajira. He is the uh, little secret enemy that you come to, right smack centre of the map. He's pretty much behind where you spawn into Serenity's Waste. Uh, and he's powerful as hell, so be very careful. Make sure you're at high level and you come in with some serious guns and uh, shields and equipment. But eventually, you will take this guy down, as you can see. And uh, yeah, basically, just got to have a very good look around because his loot flies absolutely everywhere. It goes in the lava, it goes over the other side, it stays in the middle. But the thing he should pretty much be in the middle of the map, as you can see, right there, uh, every single time. But do not quote me on that, it could fly out anywhere. But eventually it will drop, you will come to it, and uh, you will grab hold of it. And that is exactly how to get the legendary thingy rocket launcher from Iwajira in Serenity's Waste. So let's get a little overview of this weapon right now. Very good looking launcher, especially if it comes in the Loonshine effect. So like I said, this is a legendary rocket launcher manufactured by SCAV. It will always come in the corrosive variant as well. Um, it is um, obtained from any random loot source as well as uh, dropping from Iwajira. You can get it from the grinder and the vending machines. Uh, the red text on it says, somebody ain't what they appear to be. It is always corrosive and on impact, rockets fired out will split into three small grenades that seek out enemies and explode on contact or after a set amount of time. It comes in a variety of different prefixes. The heaped thingy will give you increased damage. The deep pocket thingy uh, is more magazine size. Zeroed in thingy is a more accurate rocket launcher. The clever thingy will give you a substantial amount of reload speed. The quick change thingy is a weapon swap speed increase. Revved up is rocket speed and the quick smart thingy will give you increased fire rate. Also, a bit of trivia on this weapon, the name and flavour text of this item are a reference to the 1982 film the thing so there you go a bit of a, uh, a tribute to the thing right there as you can see it consumes three ammo per shot and because it's always corros corrosive it was uh, highly effective against armor so those little robots that you run into now and again in uh, lunar launching station and hyperion hub of heroism fire one of these at them and they will soon go down so uh, very handy to have something that is actually good against um, enemies that could be corroded However, as good as this weapon sounds, if we actually compare it to a, a rocket launcher of the same kind of spec, so uh, something that has uh, just pure base damage, um, like the Mongol. Uh, now, unfortunately, I spawned the wrong one in. Instead of corrosive, I actually spawned a uh, cryo one in. But the element do really doesn't matter because the, uh, the base stats are always the same. So as you can see, compared to the Mongol, the... Uh, the thingy is substantially outplayed by it. The damage on the Mongo is a hell of a lot more. It's also more accurate, fires a lot faster, and reloads quicker as well. The only good thing about the thingy over the Mongo is it has a magazine size of 10. 
which sounds better but it's actually not because the thing he actually uses three ammo per shot and the Mongol doesn't so you only really get three shots with the thingy before you have to actually have it reloaded so uh, yeah quite interesting to see the comparison between and believe it the or not the mongo is really by far not the best rocket launcher in the game either so to get out specced so badly by the mongo just shows that the thing isn't all amazing on what it's wrapped up to be so what do i think of the thingy well i really don't use this thing too much at all uh, i do think it is a very good launcher to have hold of uh, but this thing would definitely have been suited to borderlands 2 more than the pre-sequel because in Borderlands 2 you have a hell of a lot of loader bots flying around and this thing would just absolutely rip through loaders. It still holds its own against uh, normal enemies pretty well but like I said if you're not in an area where there's any uh, big robots um, then you're not going to really do too much uh, effective. Now this area here does have uh, big robots there but there's only one or two of them and you can take them down quite easily with your normal weapons uh, and the thing that I found more than anything with this weapon is you just start firing on a load of people and you'll see any second now we're running towards it oh finally big robot comes out we'll be able to crow him so we shoot him once and there you go well out of ammo so I actually have to run back get some more ammo and come all the way back and do it all again so uh, yeah it's pretty annoying really but there is an easy way to combat that really as long as you can wear a sham shield and get hold of a Logan's gun that's a trick for Borderlands 2 still works where you shoot the Logan's gun at your feet and it will replenish your rocket ammo so you can do that and have unlimited ammo but again with the magazine size being small and uh, not being able to carry too much rocket ammo you'll forever be finding uh, yourself uh, constantly bringing that Logan's gun out to top up on rocket ammo which is quite annoying but all in all not a bad weapon really not a bad rocket launcher at all very outplayed by all the other rocket launchers in this game but uh, if you happen to have one on you and you find yourself coming up against a particularly hard um, robot enemy or metal enemy some kind of uh, thing like that then definitely pull this thing out and have a few shots of it anyway guys that is another ultimate vault on the mode legendary weapon guide that is the thingy rocket launcher thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one